he cheated. Is it your fault? Some people say once a cheater, always a cheater, and I don't exactly agree with that. But can you drive someone to cheat? Or can you be driven to cheat? Here are seven things that you could be doing that might drive someone to cheat. That doesn't mean that it is guaranteed that they will cheat if you're doing one or seven of them. Because some people just have a really high moral compass and integrity and they will not cheat no matter what. But just be careful of these things. Number one, you're so insecure. So insecure that you hide your body, that you bad talk yourself, that you point out the negatives, that you don't feel like you're deserving of such a great person and you let them know that. You cry all the time because you think that you aren't good enough. And then you start having the conversations of, you know, you're so insecure that you're pushing me away. I need you to stop. They start to question if you really are good enough for them because you keep telling them that you're not. Number two, denying intimacy. Using sex only for special occasions or withholding it because they were bad. In a healthy relationship, intimacy is a connector. It's not something that you use against each other. In fact, it's something that you do to feel closer to each other. Number three, asking too often if they're cheating on you. It can be a self-fulfilling prophecy. I think you're gonna cheat. I think you cheated on me. Are you gonna cheat on me with that girl? She's so hot, I know she's exactly your type. You are now injecting that bug into their ear and they might actually start to think that way even though they never thought that way before. Or it could be, you know what, she thinks I'm cheating and I'm being blamed for something that I'm not doing so I'm gonna cheat, may as well. Number four, shutting down, being cold, being disconnected, not communicating physically or emotionally. Number five, not putting in an effort. You stop trying, you stop flirting with your guy or girl, you stop being sexy. It oftentimes oddly starts with shaving. You stop shaving your legs and armpits and you don't really care. And then you, you stop wearing makeup, you stop wearing your sexy panties, you stop trying. Number six, squeezing too hard. Like jello, if you squeeze too hard, they will slip between your fingers. It's suffocating. Number seven, you don't make them feel appreciated, which can lead to resentment, which makes them feel like they're taken, being taken for granted. So what do you do? Well, number one, you put effort into the relationship again. It, relationships take constant work. Number two, you have confidence. Number three, you make them feel important. Number four, you maintain intimacy. Number five, monthly check-ins. Number six, nightly thank yous. And number seven, you are communicating. You are emotionally available. You can learn more about the things that I just talked about on my website, screwingtherules.com, or in my new book, Screwing the Rules, The No Games Guide to Love, which you can buy anywhere that books are sold. You can also contact me to do private dating and relationship coaching. Thanks so much for watching.